Okay, so here we are now at the 3D printer. Um, I showed you guys how Cura works. Now you're gonna be able to see what the print is actually doing. I have a Snapmaker uh, 3D printer. And uh, my 3D printer doesn't just do 3D printing, it does CNC and it also does laser etching, but we'll do that for another time. So right now I'm gonna show you the 3D printer. Here's the 3D printer. And as you can see, this is my hand right here. So this is the print. And you can see tree. You can see the tree supports right here on this side. And I'll come around on this side. And you can see the tree supports on this side. You can also see the detail right there. Again, this is my finger right here. And right there it's finishing up the print up on top. And the bed is heated uh, to 60 degrees centigrade. So it's a hot, hot bed. I also use um, purple glue uh, stick on it. Um, you can see the residue from the glue stick. That helps it stick to the um, to the build plate. Okay, and then if you look over here, this says it's 96 percent. It has 41 minutes to go still, and. Um, the nozzle temperature is almost 200. The heat bed temperature is 60. Uh, it's already been 19 hours and 35 minutes elapsed time. And the work speed is 55 um, millimeters a second. So that's pretty fast printing. Um, I don't usually go any faster than that. But this thing's pretty cool to watch. Um, and then there's my spool of PLA up there. And my other spools back there of different kinds of, I've got metallic PLAs. Um, we've got different stuff we do for Christmas time, which we're going to be starting to print uh, Christmas ornaments and stuff like that pretty soon. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys see this. So it basically is exactly what it said it would print. And you can see the travelers right here, right there. You can see the travelers like this here. These all break off. This all breaks off and then it's going to expose these holes here. And then you can see up here, you can see the infill as it's printing. There's the infill. See the zigzag pattern? So, that should be enough for this video. But as you can see, Cura pretty much shows you identically what you're going to print. And that's really, really helpful. Um, the other thing, too, is, as I said about orientation, I'll do another video to show you how to use Curia. A cure, I mean, to orient um, whether you want to lay it down on flat on its on its back, on its face. You want to turn it around. You want to actually flip it over so it's printing from the other direction. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so I will end this video. And uh, like I said, if you guys have any questions, post your questions, okay? And um, I think that'll do it. Everybody enjoy printing. Happy printing.